Hey Hair Lounge community, my name is Angelina and this is the Hair Lounge. Today we're going to talk about hairspray, all the different kinds and different ways you can use it on your hair. Stay tuned and we'll get right into it. If you enjoy learning about hair, click the subscribe button and the bell to get notified for all my new videos. Well, I'm sure we all know what hairspray is. Majority of us use it every single day. But have you ever been the one that walks down that aisle and you see tons of different options and you have no idea what to select? Hairspray is one of those things that you can use for your updos, setting your style before you actually create your style, help with flyaways as you can see I have today, and it is normally buildable. I'm gonna help you today and show you what different types of hairspray you can use for your hair type, for the type of style that you're wanting to achieve, or maybe you'll get a few tips that you haven't thought of before. So this one is by Kenra. Again, don't forget, I'm not affiliated with any of these products. These are just products that I've used on myself or in the salon that I tend to like. And this one is their Dry Volume Burst. This is a really soft holding hairspray. So if you've ever gone down you know, the aisle of the hairsprays and you've noticed all these little numbers on them, the numbers normally tell you the hold factor. So this one is a three. So this one isn't gonna have a ton of hold, but the, this is perfect for before you're actually going to curl your hair. So obviously I've already curled my hair today, but you take this, shake it up, and you spray it from root to end. So you're gonna take, lift up your hair, and do short bursts of spray all the way down. And this is gonna give you the hold that you want after you style your hair or before you curl your hair, it's gonna give your hair a little bit of, like I always tell you, grit or it'll dirty up your hair enough if you've just freshly washed it. It's also nice because it is dry. So when you spray it in, some hairspray spray in wet. This one instantly dries on your hair, which is really good for when you're curling your hair. Because I know we've all have done kind of the not so good things for your hair and you've sprayed hairspray on your hair. It's been still a little bit wet and then you take that curling iron or flat iron on it and you hear that well, that's sizzling of your hair because the hairspray is still wet and that is not good for your hair. Hit that like button if that has been you before because God knows I've done it before. Okay, so this one is nice because it is buildable. So since it's a little softer hold, you don't have to worry about spraying too much on it. So like I said, it's only a three hold. So you're not gonna want to set your styles with this hairspray. It's a good one before you curl. So you can short burst all the way through, long burst to actually hold the style, but it's still touchable. You can still run your hands through it. So again, Kenra Dry Volume Burst Spray. Okay, now the second one. You guys have noticed I really do like Joyco products. Again, I don't get paid by them, but I just really like them. And this one is their Joy Mist Medium. So again, hold factor is a six. So this is more of a styling and finishing spray. It's still gonna be where you can run your hands through your hair, but it's not gonna be that super sticky hold. So say you're doing an updo on yourself and you want it to um, hold really, really well, this isn't gonna be the one that you're gonna spray on at the very end. This is gonna be the one to set those curls. So once you curl your hair, you spray the curl and it's gonna kind of hold the curl, but you're still gonna be able to run your hands through it. Again, you can still build with all of these hairsprays. The more you spray it, kind of the more hold it has. This one's just a little bit more lightweight and it has the instant dry factor. So I'll spray it on this side. And this one, you don't have to do the short bursts. You just spray on your hair. So since it has a tiny bit more hold than this other one, it's gonna be a little harder to get your hands through your hair but you can still touch your hair and run your hands through it. One nice thing with this one, it doesn't have as much shine to it. So if you do not want shiny hair, this is a good one to use. And this is a good one for, um, you know, kind of both 
things. If you don't want something super sticky, but you want something to kind of give your hair a little bit of um, hold to it while you're curling your hair, this is a good everyday use and one that you don't have to have, you know, 30 different bottles underneath your sink. So now the last one I'm gonna show you is Again, Joyco, but this is their power spray. I use this every single day in my salon. The reason why I like this one is because it's an eight to 10 hold factor. So the more times you spray it on your hair, kind of the stickier it gets. So one spray is gonna be a little bit lighter hold, but two, three, four, five, you're gonna get kind of those stiff, ends those stiff curls or you know if you're pulling your hair back and you have those flyaways and you're one of those people that you like it to have a little bit more of a wet look or more hold and you're not going to run your hands through it this is a really good one the one thing i do not like about this one is it's a little too shiny for my liking for example if i spray it on this front section of my hair it's pretty shiny, but majority of the time what I'll do is I will take my brush or a comb and I'll kind of run my comb through it and it kind of gets rid of the shine just a little bit. So then it's not so wet looking. So those are the three hairsprays I'm gonna show you today. These are all aerosol hairsprays. They do also have pump hairsprays. I'm just not a huge fan of the pump hairsprays because they do give you more of a wet look and they're a little crunchier feeling on your hair and I like to have kind of soft and you know be able to run my hands through my actual hair like I told you guys before I have all these little baby hairs they're kind of frizzy around the front they don't like to lay down I just washed my hair yesterday and curled it this morning and normally when my hair is freshly washed and I don't really have a lot of product on it you just see these a lot more what I like to do is I take my boar bristle brush. This one I think is more of a nylon bristle, but you get the picture. Then you take your hairspray. This is that hold factor six, so a lighter weight one, and you're gonna spray the bristles of your brush. And while it's still wet, you're gonna run it over those flyaways. And what it does is it gets those flyaways to lay flat without actually spraying the hairspray on your hair. So it's gonna give it a little bit of hold without too stiff of a look, okay? So that's kind of my first little tip that I like to use. Another tip is, like I said, you can use these lighter hold ones, the volume and the joy mist ones, before you actually curl your hair. You wanna make sure you do it in layers. So once you, if you've ever watched my um, how to curl your hair into beachy waves, if you haven't, click this link right here. Um, but you do it in sections. So you will take the volume burst or this medium hold one and spray each section first. Curl your hair, don't run your hands through it. You let those curls set. And then at the very, very end, you do one extra spray over the whole thing, and then you can run your hands through it. That's why I like this hairspray, especially because it is so versatile in being able to use it before and after for actually setting your styles. Now, my third tip for you guys is you wanna make sure whenever you're curling your hair or you're using a hairspray on your second day, of actually styling your hair. So first day, you do all this spraying, you get your hair looking all nice. That second day, it's gonna have a lot more hold to your hair. But you need to be very, very careful because when you have hairspray on your hair and you're using those high temperatures on your curling iron or flat iron, and there is previous hairspray on there, you are more susceptible to damage. So you wanna be very, very careful. So I always recommend brushing through your hair. I like to use a paddle brush. Um, I use Paul Mitchell's paddle brush and I will just brush through my hair before I actually curl my hair. A lot of times people don't like to do that because it does kind of loosen up your curls a little bit, but what that does is it kind of helps get that hairspray out of your hair. So then you're not going to damage your hair as much. So make sure you brush through before you actually curl it and you're not curling over freshly sprayed hairspray so you're not getting that sizzle. Hopefully these tips helped you or maybe you learned something today 
about hairspray that you never knew. If you have any questions, don't forget, leave those questions down below in the comment box. And if you haven't subscribed yet, it's free. Hey, why not do it? Hit that red subscribe button and we will see you guys soon. Bye.